Microsoft Excel is full of loads of features to help you become more efficient working with your data. In this video, I'm going to show off four lesser known features, but features you're going to wish you knew earlier to help you become even more efficient and effective as you work with your data inside of Microsoft Excel. So let's jump in and take a look. Before we jump in and take a look at these four tips, let's make sure you have access to the exercise file that I'm gonna to use to demonstrate these four tips. So open in front of you, I've got the example file that I'm gonna use. It's called four useful Excel tips hyphen zero one. I've made this file available for you to download. You'll find it directly below this video, right down in the video description, Look for the officenoob.com blog link and you'll find a link to this file there. So make sure you download it, open it up and follow along with me. And while you're down there getting this file, if you enjoyed the video, you learned something new, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit that like button. That lets me know that you're enjoying the video and you're learning something from its content. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel each week on Microsoft Excel and other Microsoft Office applications. So download the file and let's jump in and take a look at these four tips that are gonna help you become more efficient and effective as you work with your data in Microsoft Excel. So the first feature that we're gonna take a look at here deals with getting quick easy access to your favorite or common commands that you work with inside of Microsoft Excel. Now open in front of you, I've got the example file for useful Excel tips hyphen zero one, but I'm gonna ignore the data in there for just a moment. And let's talk about the Excel interface. And specifically, we're gonna take a look at the top left corner of your Excel window. This is called the quick access toolbar. Now yours might look a little bit different than what mine looks like. Okay? If you're on the latest release and you're through Microsoft 365, you may have the auto save button there. You'll have the save button, the undo and the redo. And that might just be it for you at this moment. I also have the bold command up there as well. The quick access toolbar, hence its name, gives you quick, easy access to common commands or your favorite commands that you work with inside of Excel. Now we can customize this toolbar. Just to the right, we have a little drop down arrow where it's gonna give me a list of other common commands that I can add. For example, print. And we've got two options for print. We got quick print, where you get a button and it sends it right to the printer, or you've got print preview. Now, typically to get to print preview, you gotta go to your file tab, you gotta go to print. It's a few extra steps to get to that feature. But here, if I select print preview, it then adds that button to my quick access toolbar and it's one button press. No matter where I'm at inside of Excel, I have the button right there and I can quickly get into print preview. I'm gonna hit the back arrow to get back. Now, that's one way to customize. Through the little drop down, you can add or remove commands. I'll just select print preview again, and it'll remove that button from the interface. Now, I've also got bold on my quick access toolbar. Another way to customize the toolbar is to go to a, a tab on the ribbon. For example, underneath font, I've got bold right there. Let's see, another one that I use quite a bit of is the increase font size. So I want quick, easy access to that one. So I'll right click on that command and there's an option to add to quick access toolbar. I'll select that and I've now got that command on my quick access toolbar. So no matter where I'm at inside of Excel, it doesn't matter what tab I'm on, what worksheet I'm on, whatever, I've got my set of commands that I work with at my fingertips. Quick, easy access to those commands. So try this out. Customize your quick access toolbar to give yourself quick, easy access to the commands that you work with 
throughout your experience in Excel. Try it out. Now, tip number two deals with making edits to multiple worksheets at the same time. Take a look. So open in front of you, I've got the example file for useful Excel tips hyphen zero one, and it's got five worksheets in here. The first one is the orders worksheet, and it's got a nice little table on there. Multiple orders, multiple customers, uh, customers from different countries, USA, uh, Sweden, Ireland, France, Germany, Portugal, and so on. Now I've got four other worksheets in here where eventually I want to get the records for each country. Give me the orders for USA. Show that on the USA worksheet. Give me the orders for Germany. Show those on the Germany worksheet and so on. Now, each of these worksheets, I want to place a title. So on USA, Germany, Spain, and Canada worksheets, just here at the bottom, I want each of the worksheets at the top to say something like country orders, you know, whatever it might be. And I want to format that and make it look good and so on. And I want it to be consistent across all the worksheets. Here's the tip. We can select multiple worksheets right here. I'm going to select USA. Then I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to select Germany, Spain, Canada. Got all four of them selected. Now, anything I do on one worksheet now edits all of the worksheets. So if I jump up here, I'll go to B2, and I'm going to type something in. I'm just going to say country orders. Then I'll hit my enter key. Boom. Now I'm going to go back to B2, and I'm going to format that somehow. I'll make it bold. I'll change the background color. I'll change the font color. I'll increase the font size. Uh, change the width of the column. You know, whatever it might be. I've now done that on this worksheet, but because I've got four worksheets selected, these edits are taking place on each of the worksheets. Watch this. I'm going to deselect. I'll go click on orders. That deselects the USA, Germany, Spain, and Canada worksheets. But if I go to USA, there's my text. If I go to Germany, there's my text and so on. You select multiple worksheets and any edits you do to that worksheet affect all of the selected worksheets. Quick and easy, right? Make updates to multiple worksheets all at once. Try it out. Here's tip number three. This deals with moving columns inside of an Excel worksheet. Now, there's many different ways to move columns around. I'm back on the orders worksheet where I got a nice little list here deals with order information, order ID, order date, ship country, product name, and so on. Now I decide at some point that I want to change the order of one of the columns. For example, I want to take ship country and move that column to the end of the list. Well, a really quick, efficient way to do this, I'm going to select column D, which is ship country, then I'm going to hold down the shift key, shift key on my keyboard. And if I move to the border, I get a four headed arrow. Now, if I left click and just drag, you'll see a little green vertical bar that follows me around, just splitting the columns. Now, wherever that lands, here I'm at the end of the list. I'm then going to release my mouse button and it'll drop the column in that spot. Let's try this again. I'm going to grab column G, the employee column, hold down the shift key, grab the side or the edge of it, and I'm going to drag it all the way over in between B and C, and I'll drop it. Really quick, really efficient. Select the column, hit the shift key, and just drag it to where you want to place that column. And that's it. Try it out. Tip number four it deals with copying a formula for all of your records. Take a look. So I'm back on the orders list, order ID, employee, order date, and so on. Now what I'd like to do here is create a new column. I'm gonna hop over to I1, and we'll call this order total. Now what I'd like to get here is a total unit price times quantity. But I wanna get that for every record in here. Well, there are, 2,155 rows of data in here. I'm going to get back to the top. So if I hop over to I2, 
really simple formula. I'll just say equals F2 times G2. Just give me the unit price times the quantity. I'll hit my enter key. There's my total, $648. Great. All right. Now I need this for all of the records. Well, typically I'd go back to that cell and the autofill handle, that little box in the corner, I would click on that and drag it down. Here's the shortcut. As long as I have data next door, directly next door to the column that I want to fill, I'll just give it a double click, that little box in the corner, boop, and it'll fill all the way down for me. All 2,155 records now have a total. That's it. Create the calculation, put it in the first row. As long as you got data next door, consistent data all the way down. Double click the autofill and it'll fill in the rest for you. Try it out. Four little tips to help you become more efficient and effective as you work with your data inside of Microsoft Excel. We've got things like the quick access toolbar, add your favorite commands. You've got shortcuts to help you move columns around. Select multiple worksheets to make edits all at the same time. And the autofill command, perhaps one of my favorites. Add the formula, give it a double click, and it'll fill all the way down that column within your list. Make sure you've downloaded the exercise file and you try each of these out. And for the quick access toolbar, add your favorite commands. They're always going to be there in any Excel workbook you open up on your system. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, you learned something new. If you have, make sure you drop down, give the video a thumbs up, let me know you enjoyed it, you liked it, and you learned something new. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel each week. I've enjoyed sharing this information with you. If you can think of another tip that you use that would be helpful for all of us, make sure you drop down into the comments section and leave your tip there. I like to read people's comments. I like to read additional tips. There's always something new to learn inside of Microsoft Excel. So I'll see you in the next video.